Para conversar acerca de recientes avances e innovación en preprensa para flexografía, estuvimos con Christopher Payne, el actual gerente general y vicepresidente de la división de flexografía para empaques de Eastman Kodak Company. Desde hace varios años, Kodak ha sido una de las empresas mundiales líderes en sistemas de preprensa para flexo y una socia futurista para convertidores de envases también en América Latina. Aunque Christopher está radicado en Pittsburgh, Nueva York, en los Estados Unidos, se educó en Escocia y se graduó con los más altos honores en impresión, administración y producción en Napier College en Edimburgo. En 2011, Christopher fue elegido director de la Junta Directiva de la Asociación Nacional de Proveedores de Tecnologías para Impresión, Conversión y Publishing de Estados Unidos, la prestigiosa NPES, una agremiación que representa a más de 600 empresas que fabrican y distribuyen equipos, sistemas, software e insumos para las industrias editorial de impresión y conversión. Thank you very much, Chris, for this interview. We're very pleased to have you in this interview for Ellen Back and Conversión. Lillian, great to be here and glad to you know, be talking to you and your your subscribers. Thank you. Could you please mention, Chris, how much today in the world is flexographic printing growing for packaging and how much it grows compared to digital? So, package printing, all printing process is about 300 million uh, US dollars worldwide and it's growing at around 4% a year overall. Flexo packaging is probably growing slightly greater than that because it's actually beginning to produce uh, packages that were produced on other technologies because you're an offset. Um, digital printing in it is in its very infancy actually um, and there's almost no less than one percent certainly of printed packaging and that's all in labels. Uh, the technology though is coming for, for, for digital printing as we move forward but it almost will be a small portion of the, of the market. So you see, you see a brilliant uh, growing market for flexible in packaging at the moment. Yeah, when we looked at uh, our strategy about a decade ago, 2005 and 2006, uh, we were in publication printing and, and, and commercial printing, yes. direct mail and, and brochures. Mm -hmm. We decided to get into packaging because obviously it stays forever, but we also saw it as a growth market where our technologies could really apply. Um, and we're excited about the progress that we're making overall in, in the market. What is your opinion on the quality of uh, flexographic printing in Latin America and, and compared to other regions of the world? So I've been coming to Latin America quite a few times in the last couple of years uh, and I love what's going on here. What we've done with our technology and what you see in many of the customers, whether it be here in Bogota or elsewhere in the region in, uh, in the other countries, is they're really taking Flexo to the next level and they're actually doing many, many jobs that used to be done with Europe. And it's really quite exciting because they've all, they're all re-equipping in the latest technologies and Flex LNX is one of the key enablers that enables them to do that. Is there any particular country that you've seen that have especially very good quality in Flexo in Latin America? So Latin America overall, from Mexico to Argentina and certainly Colombia, Peru and Chile, there are printers in each of these markets that are using NX that are really pushing the forefront of the use of our technology. Um, and that's what makes Latin America really exciting for me when you look at the sheer examples of the print applications from flexible and we're doing some work in folding cart and then corrugated yes. with printers in the region. Yes. And it's really taking them to the next level in terms of what those printers can sell to the brands in, in the different markets. Yeah. In brief, uh, Christopher, could you describe what is this flagship of Coda Flexel NX system? What is it about and why it is so beneficial? for labels and packaging converters? So, when you go back to what we tried to achieve with Flex LNX, um, we knew that uh, the big opportunity for us was all package printing. And so we set out to develop our, our technologies to not just do what was conventionally being done in Flexo, but actually to produce the same color quality as Gravure. And so, our focus is how do we make the Flexo process the premium package printing process in the industry. With over 500 Flex LNX systems installed globally, your division has gained a substantial market participation. What percentage is represented by the Latin American market, uh, including Mexico? So, the Latin American marketplace for us is uh, 
you know, key strategically and is our second most important marketplace. Um, Europe is, is, is our most important marketplace, mainly because uh, of the number of countries, brands that are there. Latin America is very similar to Europe in the sense of the number of countries, the different brands and the languages. And so Latin America for us today is a, is a key market. And certainly we're serving many key printers here um, where our product is making a fundamental difference for their businesses. Yes, when you speak with your customers here in Latin America about Flexel and X system, what is the most common comment you get from, from the, or the background that you get from them? So, so our customers come for the image quality. Image quality. The image, the image quality and the consistency of that quality in a run mm -hmm. um, for their brands, but they stay for the production efficiency. Um, so our product is quite amazing from the fundamental value one, for the brand, they're, they're looking for a higher shelf appeal of the product mm -hmm. and they're also looking for that to be consistent. Um, but they're also looking for increased both productivity and flexibility in, in the designs they can have. Um, the printer's looking to it to automate and drive production efficiency. Flex LNX, given how we develop the technology, um, is really delivering on those two fronts and that's why it starts with the discussion between the printer and the quality and the brand, they can, what they can do in quality and consistency for the brand. And then once they start using it, they realize there's all these other benefits in, in production, which, which is a fantastic uh, thing, particularly as Flexo has grown up its capabilities to compete with the other uh, processes offset, the folding carton and reviewer for, for long run flexibles. And do you think brand owners in Latin America are also learning more and more about pre-press possibilities and know about the possibilities of Flexel and existence? Yes, so the lead brands in the, in, the, in the region really understand that they can get more flexibility, more design freedom uh, from using our, our, our product with the printers. And they're certainly uh, designing what we're doing with the key printers that they're working with. Um, we've certainly seen our print partners in the region working very closely with the brands and on occasion calling us in to meet with the brands to talk about the next generation of technology that we're working on. You're talking about the next generation in Drupa, Kodak Lone to Flexel Linux 2016. It was, and could you please describe what are the main new features that this Evolution 2016 has to offer for packaging and labels converters? So, uh, System 16, Flex LNX System 16 is really, as you said, an evolution of the technology. And, and we've been very focused here. The quality of our product, um, you know, and its consistency are table stakes for us. Um, working with our printers and the people who have the product, they recognize that we can do even more with the product in terms of on-press efficiency. And so we've been very focused on how do we change our portfolio and the technology to help our printers get better efficiency on press and that's been a key drive for us in, in System 16 um, and it's a key area where we'll continue to develop uh, as we work and we extend the number of applications that we're developing. Um, we've been focused on flexibles, if you look at our history and labels. Yes. Um, System 16 also had some real advantages that enabled us to get into the corrugated market and actually in Latin America, some of the most exciting things I'm seeing with customers, while our flexible customers are doing fantastic work, we're beginning to work with people in the folding carton space and the corrugated space, given all the innovations we launched in System 16. So System 16 was about those incremental features and being able to extend the same benefits into, into the new applications that we haven't so far addressed. Which specific uh, applications for corrugated or, or folding carton can be obtained from this system. Flex LNX is, is really extending the color capability and the premium nature products. So our customers in folding carton are doing things like cereal boxes, improving the quality on cereal boxes. Think of a kid walking down the aisle and he sees better graphics on the yeah. box, he's going to yeah. choose that cereal. Um, uh, you know, typical six packs of beer, um, you know, we're using corrugated or 12 packs of beer, those corrugated boxes. And so we're beginning to see you know, where premium advertising quality branding is needed that 
NX System 16 focused on the corrugated folding card applications is beginning to show the same benefits we've seen in flexible and, and that's the exciting thing. Uh, talking about on-press efficiency, which is a complex equation that includes the flexible presses, the substrates, the inks, the skills of the press operator and the job specifications, how does Flexel and X technology solve the issue of the press efficiency? So, if you go back to our strategy, which was to focus on you know, what is done in review, uh, we basically had offset technologies and back in 2000, 2005, they were the best offset technologies in terms of premium quality, so we brought those in. And our goal for, and, and where we lined up, was the latitude of our press, uh, sorry, the latitude of our, our plate enables us just to have greater tolerance on the press. And so as we've developed that technology, its ease of use on a press has really translated into the press in terms of automation. What we then saw is that the ecosystem players, being the press manufacturers, the analogs and the ink players, as well as some of the tape providers, they understood that they could do more with our plate, and so they've engineered their latest automation, their latest analogs and their technologies around the inherent capabilities of the NX plate. And so that's spurred the whole industry forward in terms of its um, automation, its consistency and its productivity, and those benefits in the press room are therefore fairly significant to all of our customers. Setting up a, a FlexoPress is a key factor to improve quality and productivity. What are the main technical features that support Flexel and X performance? So because you have control of the dot structure, and you have control of all the elements on the plane, um, you can actually go to less colors, so less spot colors, yeah. right? Um, whether it be four color or extended gamut. Um, and you can run consistently the press in terms of its setup. So you don't have to change the press setup when you change the job. Mm -hmm. So you're literally just changing the plates and the substrate if necessary and then running your next job. That overall benefit comes because of the way we've engineered our plate technology. Do you think this, uh, this technology is going to shift flexo flexography in a way for the packaging market? Yeah, it, it, it's very clear that where flexography, and I just came back in June from Drupa, and everyone's talking about automation of the press, uh, greater quality and consistency, enabled by flat top technology, NX. Um, and what you see the, the brands doing is they have a need in the places like the US and Europe to have more SKUs, so more product variants, um, you see in, uh, in places like Latin America and Asia the growth of the middle class, people buying packaged goods. And these two things in combination, the need for better SKUs, better shelf appeal, the demographic profile shifts are driving uh, the industry forward and we'll see Flexo technology specifically doing more and more of that printing work as we move through time. Um, and certainly today we have customers that not only are they doing reviewer quality work, but they can actually do part of the work on Flexo, part of the work on reviewer, the end of the runs when they have overage that they need to do on Flexo, and the customer doesn't notice the difference. Um, given Flexo printing is a cheaper, more convenient, more flexible process, over time, which is a 10, 20 year trajectory, reviewer will be replaced by Flexo. And we're seeing that why I'm excited about Latin America, we're seeing that happen today uh, here in places like Bogota and other places in the region. You've been working in the, in the printing industry for many years, you, you work also for digital companies such as Zyka. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the most exciting thing that, that you think is happening at the moment regarding printing, packaging printing? So I, I think two things, one the overall growth of Flexo printing as a quality printing process that can drive efficiencies is one that's here for, you know, it's, it's the beginning of where we're going. If you go back 10 years, Flexo was the grubby part of the packaging industry. I think moving forward, that changes completely to the, the premium quality process. We the process of that change. And then I think as digital comes in, particularly hybrid digital, so inkjet and Flexo combined, uh, the opportunities that are, that opens up for versioning and scale is, is going to give really a lot of flexibilities to the brands and the printers to offer new and interesting things to them. The combination of flexible and digital is therefore, is therefore really important.
Thank you so much. This has been great. Thank Lena, you so much. Thanks for having me and uh, I look forward to coming back.